Hey guys, what's going on? Gosh, we're CSP here coming at you with the first game of this 2015-2016 uh, season. Well, I mean, technically the second game, but the first game that I will show you guys. Uh, as you see, in the first game of the year on the road, we did beat the Utah Jazz by nine points. There is a look at their team. Uh, they have Monte Ellis, but he only went three and nine from the field. Uh, one of four from three, eight points, five assists. Not really too uh, good of a game for him right there. Isaiah Thomas. Uh, doing great things in the first game. 35 points, 10 rebounds, 12 of 23 from the field, 6 and 9 from the three point line. Uh, Paul George fouled out. He had 12 points. Jumper with 21. Tyson Ty 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 Chandler with a, with a double double, man. 13 points and 17 rebounds. Lavoy Allen with 10 points. David West, 6 and 6. And Willie Holly Stein in his NBA debut goes 4 3 and 2, uh, 2 or 3 from the field. There are the stats right there. So we are playing the Oklahoma City Thunder. Uh, Shaq and Ernie have some words before the game. And then uh, I will uh, see you guys after that. And. This game gets kind of crazy a little bit, so uh, I uh, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the game, and uh, yeah, Shaq and Ernie, take it away. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal. Tonight, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Indiana Pacers. For Indiana... They got their season rolling with a nice win in their first game. Now we'll find out if they can build on it and open with back-to-back -back victories. Serge Ibaka, some thought he should have been an all-star last season. This guy gets a lot of things done. Yes, he's a legit two-way player, not just a shot blocker. He's a consistent scorer, too. Night in and night out, double digit in points. Shoots over 38% from distance this season. Pretty good player. Let's send it down to Kevin Harlan as we approach tip-off. So the two biggest players that I will have to worry about in this game, Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant. I can't really uh, do much, uh, you know, about them. I mean, uh, really, I just have to hope to contain them with Isaiah Thomas and Paul George guarding them. Paul George is a great lockdown defender, and Isaiah Thomas is a good defender for a point guard. And speaking of Isaiah Thomas, man, I love using him in 2K. Like, he is one of my favorite. One of, if not my favorite point guard to use in 2K. So here we go. Jump ball. We are wearing our gold jerseys. And the Thunder are wearing their sleeved pride jerseys. I don't know what they're called. But they're wearing their sleeved home jerseys. The sleeved white ones. I believe the only sleeved jerseys in the game for uh, OKC. Okay, so here we go. Isolation right here for Isaiah Thomas. First play of the game. Going to hit Russell Westbrook with the spin move. Going to hit him with a nice step back jumper. And Isaiah Thomas gets the mid-range jumper to go. His jump shot, man, it is so cash, and it's so money, and I love it. And as you see right there, we did shoot 52% last game. That's pretty good. Uh, I do shoot, oh, my God. Russell Westbrook to Serge Ibaka. Great alley-oop right there. Uh, I do shoot a very well percentage in basically, like, every single every single game I play. By the way, uh, kind of a, wait, one second, one second. Paul George! On Serge Ibaka, get at, dude, like, get out of the paint, dude. Just get out of the paint. Stop it. You just need to, like, get out. Oh, I mean, stay there. So that way, you know, I can keep dunking on you with PG. Um, kind of a spoiler alert. I mean, not really a spoiler, spoiler alert. But I'm already in my third season. Like, I have already recorded all the games that I need to. Like, it is just a lot of fun playing with this team. It really is. And, yeah, I mean, you guys, I think, are really going to love the team at the end of the year. Uh, you know, hopefully we can make a, a playoff run at the end of the year. I feel like if, you know, everybody is healthy, then we can make a deep run in the playoffs and maybe win, the, win it all. You know, probably not. You know, probably probably the Thunder will win it all. And as you see right there, Kevin Durant hitting the three right there. This is a play for Paul George. I believe I do call an isolation right here. Maybe, nope. Give it to uh, Iman Shumpert, and then I believe, yep, Iman Shumpert in the corner, wide open, and he does hit the three, his first three-pointer as an Indiana Pacer that I show you guys, and uh, yeah, Kevin Durant, 12 points, 5 of 5. This is my favorite play, where I give it to PG on the wing, and then he just goes to the basket and dunks, like, I just, I just love that play, because it's pretty unstoppable, well, kind of unstoppable, kind of not, you know, sometimes he does get blocked, but not really a lot, he doesn't, he doesn't really get blocked a whole lot, but when he does, it's kind of embarrassing. Right here, isolation. They are double teaming. I see Solomon Hill wide open in the corner. He's not known for making a lot of threes, but he does make that three right there. And now we are down by 3.710 left to go in the first half. We are we are sticking with them. We are sticking with them, which I was uh, really surprised about that because, you know, I thought that, you know, they were going to be blowing us out in this game. Awful defense by me. 
Uh, Roberson is wide open. Willie Colley Stein is on him right there. And beautiful defense by Solomon Hill, but it doesn't matter. When that shot went in, I was so mad. I was like, are you kidding me, Hall of Fame? Like, are you kidding me, dude? Like, I was right there in his face, and he makes it anyway. So now it is a six-point game. LaVoy Allen sets me the screen. I don't really know what to do with it. But if you give Iman Shepard that much space, he will hit the three right in your face. So six points for him. And now we are down by eight. Willie Colley Stein with the ball. I'm going to take Ennis Cantor in the post and hit him with this nice post hook fade thing. And it goes down for him. I believe that was like his fourth or sixth point of the game. And uh, as you see, Isaiah Thomas with 13 points. Like I said, man, he is so much fun to use, especially in uh, isolation. Awful defense by me right there, though. Like, that's like my biggest, like, awfulness, I guess. Like, uh, the uh, biggest thing that I need to work on for 2K16 is my on-ball defense on Hall of Fame. And look at this great dunk by Willie Colley Stein. He has gold uh, posterizers, so, you know. I'm definitely going to try to use that to my advantage this year. And, you know, um, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm going to keep him on this team, not trade him, because he is basically the center of the future for us right here. The first half is coming down to a close. We are down by five. Isolation with Paul George. And I get the wide-open mid-range jumper, and it is good. But I left, I, I left too much time on the clock for Kevin Durant to do damage and awful defense right there. So with 2.1 left, we're not going to get a shot off. I call timeout, but... Uh, the shot was not good. So, at halftime, we are down by 5 points, 52 to 47. Uh, they are, well, they, they have more assists than us, and they are out-rebounding us, and we have shot one more free throw than them and made one more free throw than they have, and they have made more field goals than we have. Kevin Durant with 21 points at the half, leading all scorers. And Russell Westbrook leading all rebounders with three. That's pretty surprising that, you know, no one has more than three rebounds. And Russell Westbrook leading uh, all of the uh, assisters, if that's even a thing. Uh, all guys in, in, in assists with eight. So there are your halftime stats for the halftime report right there. I believe this is another, like, 2K calls these isolations so much. And look at that pass from Isaiah Thomas and an ugly jumper by LaVoy Allen. I probably should have tried to go in for the dunk, but I probably would have gotten blocked anyways. Look at that pass from Isaiah, though. A great pass by him. He's he he's a good passer in this game. He's a good shooter in this game. His three-point, like, his jumper's wet, man, and he has such a good three-pointer right here. I don't I don't really know what to do with it, but I have and a scanter on me, which means a mismatch. I'm gonna try to go to the paint. Good step back, and I go to the basket and dunk on the side of Serge Ibaka. I mean, I, I kind of dunked on him, but, you know, Serge Ibaka was, like, kind of on the side right there. They show way too many Nike uh, vertical replays, though. Like, I'm just saying, they they show way too many of those. Right now, we are down by 5 points, 64 to 59, with about 3.50 left to go in the third quarter. Beautiful find to JaVale McGee, and he gets the two points. Well, he gets the layup right there, uh, two points for uh, JaVale McGee, Isaiah with 19 and 6. I really like, oh, Isaiah Thomas with the steal. I was going to say I, uh, I really like his his, uh, his uh, stealing ability. Awful attempt at the dunk right there, but Isaiah comes up huge with the rebound. And then I see Isaiah. He's wide open for the nice mid-range shot, and he gets it to go. We cut it to a one-point deficit. Now it's an eight, uh, five-point deficit. Excuse me. They have 68. Beautiful pick and roll right there, but I get the nice step back, and you gave him way too much space. It, if you give Isaiah Thomas too much space, he will drain the jumper in your face. He was 2-2 uh, two two on threes in the second half. I get the double team called right here. But I see JaVale McGee wide open with the gold badge of Lob City finisher. And obviously, he finishes that lob right there. So we are down by four points with about a minute left to go in the second half. Now, we are in the fourth quarter, down by seven. I get the screen from PG. He's cutting to the basket. And Steven Adams, get out of here. Get out of here. Dunk all over Steven Adams. So I've dunked on Steven Adams and I've dunked on Serge Ibaka. Like I just, I just need to keep a track, you know, a, a list of how many guys I have uh, posterized this year. Good defense right there. Paul George on the fast break and Jeremy Lamb. Dude, just, just like, just get out of the way. You're not gonna block him. Dunks all over Jeremy Lamb too. So that's Serge Ibaka, that's Steven Adams, and now Jeremy Lamb. Like. PG is a beast, man. He he is the uh, MVP of this team. Like no, no matter how good, no, well, no matter how well Isaiah Thomas plays, uh, PG will always be the uh, MVP of this team. But as time is uh, winding down here, about uh, a minute 15 left to go, we are down by 14. It is not looking too good, and it is looking like we are going to get beat by the unstoppable Thunder. Beautiful step back, and Isaiah with this 35th point of the game. I mean, he is just so much fun to use in this game. Like he really is. 
Like if like get him get him for my team, get him for my league, get him for my GM, like get him for everything, dude. He is like so much fun to use in this game. Uh, I'm just trying to pad PG stats right here, and I throw the nice lob to Willie Cauley Stein as he does get uh, his first double figure game in the NBA with his tenth point right there. Beautiful lob and beautiful slam by him. So as the uh, game is winding down, we are obviously going to lose this game. Uh, I mean, we played well, but, you know, I think that we just need to get a, a few more games under our belt. And right here, I'm just going to get a quick 2 uh, two to slam with Solomon Hill right there to cut it to a 1, no, to, a, to an 11 point deficit. But, uh, you know, obviously too little too late as we do lose by 11 to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Basically the most uh, overpowered team in 2K, I guess. Like, I mean, it's, it's them and the Bulls that are like the most overpowered team in this game because uh, it always seems like they meet up in the finals every year. Uh, so there is our first loss of the year. We, now, we are now 1-1 one one on the year. Game stats, Kevin Durant with 35 points, 16 to 20 from the field, 3 of 6 from 3. Did not play uh, good defense on him whatsoever. Westbrook with 28, 5 and 12, 13 to 17 from the field. Uh, next time I play them, whenever that is, I have got to stop them. And, you know, really, I was just kind of ball hogging. A little bit with uh, Isaiah and Paul George, but uh, I will fix that for games in the future. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. They are the two best players on this team. So that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like in the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Uh, next game, I believe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who the next game is against. I don't know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.